Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we will discuss CD command in Linux in great detail. So if you have means uh, watched a lot of video, but see in this video, in that, in those videos, they directly say CD this, CD that, but we do not understand. So if you are like that, so please watch this video. I will make you understand each and every concept so that you, so that you can use CD command very efficiently. Okay. So see before understanding CD command. Uh, uh, we know that CD basically means change the directory or folder. Okay, so we want to change the folder from one folder to another folder in the terminal. Okay, so before changing the folder, at first we should know what is the file hierarchy. Means how folders are structured in Linux. Mean any distribution of Linux. So let me first go to the files. There is other location, and this is computer. So this is called root folder. It's like means uh, a great grandfather like thing means top of the family so this is the root folder everything is inside this folder and this is represented with the help of slash so basically this forward slash means root folder if i do suppose cd slash now see we are inside the root folder so this is everything this is the top of the uh, family hierarchy okay so this is the root folder. Now once I click on it, now see these are the child of root folder. Now inside root folder we have boot, etc, home, and then uh, opt root run sbn snap srb, uh, sys temp user where these folders are there inside root folder. Now see usually in our day to day life we do not go for all this folder. We just are interested in home folder because home is basically uh, we generally use now this home folder was inside root folder now let me click on the home folder now see inside home this is noob so this is username my username is noob so this is username so inside username we have this documents downloads desktop now this folder must be familiar to you so i hope you are getting the file hierarchy uh, the first one is root folder inside root folder we have something called bin etc lib but one is home which is in which we are interested now inside home we have user folder and inside user we have these folders documents downloads desktop pictures and music and inside desktop i have given one more folder which is img in my case so this is the hierarchy okay so this is the great grandfather this is grandfather this is father and this is son so this is like family hierarchy okay now see now we have to change the directory so suppose let me open the terminal and let me clear everything okay let me close this then then i will uh, open it okay see so one thing keep one thing in mind that whenever we open a terminal it always open in certain folder so as you are seeing this is the file hierarchy so at first we have to check that which folder it has opened so by default it opens in user folder so this one user home folder okay home is this one but inside home uh, user is there so by default we are always in user folder okay this folder and with the help of gui also let me show you which folder we are usually in so go to other location go to computer and go to home and then noob now these things means we are inside this noob folder okay by default whenever you open the terminal now we can confirm this with the help of pwd now see now now understand what this structure means okay so basically this is saying slash let me open this in side by side but it will create a problem okay so let me uh, give like this so basically it is saying that the path is slash so this slash means root folder See this path, whatever we are getting with the help of PWD, this is this start from the very uh, means uh, very top level. So this, as I already told you, this slash means root. Now after root slash home is there. So at first we went to root, and then we went to home. Okay. Now after home, it is slash noob. Now see, at first it was slash, then home, and then slash noob. Now see this was means after our folder is here by default we are in this location noob location so this is the folder we open by default 
now inside these things are there now we can confirm this with the help of ls command now see after doing ls now see downloads is there desktop is there documents is there okay music is there means these are uh, means uh, uh, very familiar videos is there okay th so i think you are getting means by default we are inside this folder user folder okay now we have to change the folder we have to change the directory now how we can do this so see if we are in a parent folder and we want to go to the child folder so see but uh, before that keep one thing in mind whenever you want to change the directory there are two method one is absolute path means suppose i am in that documents and i want to go to desktop so one path is for the desktop i will give its complete path starting from the root so i will write slash home slash noob slash desktop so anywhere you are by using the absolute path you can go to any location because i am starting from the root folder so there is no need uh, to uh, specify anything more and one thing is relative path so suppose i am in the documents but i will not start from the root but what i will do instead i will go to its parent and then again to its child in this way so it is a bit shortcut and people generally prefer this method now uh, let me show you example of both the things so uh, i first i will start from the Mm, uh, absolute path okay so suppose suppose i am in the do, uh, documents so let me go to the documents folder yeah and now what i will do i will open in terminal now see whenever you go to any path and and then you do open in terminal so by default terminal open in that location let me show you see by default it opened in documents now now what i was saying that from documents i want to go to desktop so uh, there are two paths either i can uh, give the absolute path starting from the root folder or i can give the uh, relative path so let me start with the absolute path so i will um, give the location starting from the root folder so how to name it so i will just type cd slash it means root then after root i will uh, give its child which is home now after home see i'm starting from here i will go like this home to noob to desktop so after home i will give slash noob and then slash desktop now i will hit enter see we are in the desktop folder we can do pwd now see so this method is very simple means uh, you have to do not uh, you, you have to not apply your mind anywhere you are no problem you can start whatever path you want to go start from the root and give the exact path so it's very simple so suppose i am in the Uh, desktop and I, i want to go to the pictures folder this for this one so what i will do i will start from the root folder slash home slash noob slash pictures so it will directly go to the picture folder so i think you are getting okay so <clears throat> now say i'm in the desktop and i want to go to the uh, uh, suppose uh, what to say which folder mm, suppose user folder this one i'm in the desktop currently where am i yeah i am in the desktop currently and i want to go to the user folder this one so how to do so from the desktop i have to go to the user so for user i will give its absolute path starting from the root so I, at first i will write slash and then user because the user is child of root so i will just type slash user and it will go here so let me show you so i am in the desktop i have to give the absolute path so cd slash this is root and then its child user now see i am in the user folder so the first uh, this thing this thing is very means uh, uh, straight forward but it is time taking we have to start from the root and then write the whole path okay now <clears throat> what i will do instead and the next step i will show you the relative path okay relative path means we will start from anywhere we are we will go to its parent means in this way step by step we will go to go to its parent and then its child suppose i am in the downloads i want to text go to desktop so at first i will go to its parent and then i will go to desktop because uh, from child to child we cannot directly go we have to go to its parent and then to its child now see one more thing whenever anywhere you are if you just type cd then it will bring you to the user folder now see this is the by default let me so pwd so this is the noob which is basically user so whenever wherever you are just type cd and it will bring you to the 
uh, user folder now this thing we will use means uh, this uh, uh, means uh, uh, this thing means uh, the, we will use okay we will use this shortcut to come back to the uh, means user folder now see let me clear this now we will show you the relative path which is most popularly used now see for the relative path what you will do what i will do so currently i am in the user folder i told you that whenever b2 cd we come back to this folder now see from parents i want to go to its child so to parents to child you have to just type cd and then name of the child because this is straightforward because whenever i do cd and just name then it will check in its child is it there or not so let me show you so i'm in the uh, user folder and if i can if i want i can directly go to the suppose desktop now see we are directly in the desktop so parent to child is very simple just write cd and the name of the child okay now this property we will use now again we will do cd we will come back to the user folder now the child of user is downloads also pictures also so let me go to the suppose uh, down, uh, downloads now what we will do we will again type cd and then downloads now see we came back to the download so from parents to child you have to just type cd nothing else and the name of the child now the problem is from downloads i want to go to desktop now in this thing in this case we will use relative path so i am in the downloads but i have to go to the desktop so this is also child and this is also child of user folder so directly we cannot go so we can go we will go to its parent and then from parent we will go to desktop so there are two method so i am in the uh, downloads and to go to user folder because its parent is user its parent is user see basically in our day to day life we will be basically in this folder itself means in user folder always so from downloads i will go to user and then from user i will go to desktop because desktop is child of user and we know from downloads to user i will just type cd because whenever you type cd you come back to user folder and now we know that that uh, desktop is child of user folder so now we can go we can type desktop and now hit enter now see this is very easy to switch between all this child from anywhere within this child it is very easy wherever you are just do cd after doing cd you will come here here you, after doing cd you will come here user folder whenever you are wherever you are and then from user just go here pictures or music or desktop or downloads okay suppose let me give one more example suppose i am in the sys folder i am in the sys folder now you have to think this i am in the sys folder and i have to go to music folder now how you you can go it just think for a while how you can go to from sys to music how you will go so there are two path one is absolute absolute we will start from Uh, root and we will give the exact path of music means slash home slash new slash music or we can use the relative path means we will make some uh, changes so one method is what we can do we can just type cd so what i told you whenever wherever you are just type cd you will come back to here user so i will just type cd come back to user and then i will just do cd music okay yeah so let me show you so at first for that i have to at first go to sys folder and to go to sys folder i will use the absolute path cd slash sys so let me show you so cd slash sys now see we are in the sys folder and i to i told you i want to go to music so i at first i will do cd so after doing cd anywhere you are you will come back to user folder and we know that picture uh, music is child of user so i will now i will do cd music new music now see we are in the music folder so this is very simple okay so use this uh, property wherever you are just do cd come back to here and from here you can go anywhere from here if you want to go to its child you can just do cd or from here if you want to go to its parent so see from from here to child is very easy cd name of the child but to parent what to do now let me show you an example so let me come back to image folder which is basically inside desktop so let me come back to image so i will just do cd and then from cd i will go to desktop slash 
image i think img is the name yeah now see i'm in the image folder which is basically image is the child of desktop folder now from sorry where it is now see now the question is from img i have to go to where to go yeah from img suppose i have to go to usr this folder so how to do this just think 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 in different ways so see one method is i can use absolute path i will do cd slash user so no need to know where am i i will start from top i will give the exact path or we can use the relative path one method is i can go to i yeah, mean parent of img which is desktop again it's parent which is user and again it's parent which is home again it's parent which is root and then user but this is very difficult so another method is from img i will just do cd i will come back to user okay i will just do cd i will come back to user and then from user i will go to its parent which is home and then from home i will go to its parent which is uh, root and then user but this is also uh, difficult so i think in this case it was easy cd slash user but i had to discuss how to go to its parent so to go to its parent this is very simple you have to just type so i am inside img which is child of desktop so i want to go to uh, means parent of img which is desktop so to do that just type cd dot dot two dot now hit enter now see we came to its parent so to come to its parent just type this cd dot dot now the parent of desktop is what is user now see parent of desktop is user so to go to user what to do cd dot dot now see we are in the user folder now cd dot dot see we are in the slash home folder cd dot dot see we are in the root folder so i think <coughs> now you you might have got it how to do all these thing so let me give you one task at the end and then we will wrap up so suppose the task is, task is uh, what to say okay so task is suppose i am in the bin folder and i want to go to pictures folder so how to do this i am in the bin folder and i have to go to the pictures folder so try solving this and if you are, uh, have solved this please write in the comment section so thank you thank you guys